I'm not doing this. I'm not I'm not playing this little game in this generation of showing the least interest possible to see who wins. If I see your text, I'm going to reply. I'm not going to be waiting hours just so that I don't show too much interest. If I'm interested, you're going to know that I'm interested. Well, you're actually rare because a lot of women don't do that. They play games. They want men to chase and chase them. So uh, for that, on behalf of all men, I appreciate that. And I'm, I'm glad that you don't play that game. But the fact is, a lot of women do. It's not the norm. Why are we playing games? Why are we so unemotionally available? Why are we so detached? I think social media ruined dating. I think that we are all caught up in this bubble of like, we can't show too much emotions because there's always the next person available. And if it's not you, it's the next one. Well, that's that's women. OK, men are just not going to we're just not built to be as emotionally open as women. So you're talking about women. So instead of saying we you should say women. So maybe you mean we as in you and women. Um, but it's definitely women that do that. Social media didn't ruin anything. It's just another uh, vehicle for women just to get more attention on. The texting, the DMs, the access to people's information is just giving people an illusion of thinking that there's always a better option. No, it's given women the illusion of thinking that there's always a better option. See, a lot of times women don't want to accept accountability, even if it's like a, they don't want to do it for themselves a lot of times, and they don't want to do it for their group. That's why she keeps saying we are people, you know what I'm saying? But it's usually women that are doing this. Women dominate social media. Social media was basically created for everyone in the beginning, but it, now it's dominated by women. Even dating apps are dominated by women. There's more women on all these social platforms than there are men. So, you know, it's women that are doing this. It's women that are putting themselves out there. It's women that are looking at this profile or looking at this, this picture and saying there's a better option around the corner. Because women tend to think that there's always a better uh, option around the corner. They can, they always think that they can do better because they're always looking to level up. See, women date up, men date down and across. A lot of sometimes women will date across, and but they definitely date up. But men will date across and date down. So we we don't necessarily do that. That is women, but she doesn't want to say that because she's probably trying to save the you know the female sisterhood and and not piss off her followers. And I'm sick of it. I'm not playing that game. If I'm interested, you're going to know. And if you don't show the same interest back, then that's my answer. I don't know who can relate, but I am not playing those games, baby. Well, I think it's kind of a fine line uh, for for men. So, ladies, I'll, I'll try to explain it like this. It, it, and the fine line is this. We want a woman to show interest, but we don't want her to be too aggressive and overly do it because th that aggression is, is our, our, those traits belong to men. They're, they're very masculine. So, you know, if you're going to let a man know, just be subtle in it. You don't have to like make this big declaration to a man that you like him and that you're interested. It could take a wink. It could take a week. A, a wink, not a week. It could take a wink. It could take a, a, you know, a look back in the day, women used to drop their handkerchiefs, all that type of stuff. So it needs to be very, very subtle. Men can pick up that very fast. That is all men are looking for. Just some little minor clue that this woman is interested in him. That's all we need. So if you show that and you're genuine with that and you're not overly aggressive with that type of uh, approach, men are going to respect that. But if you're like, you know, the crazy type of approach, you know, the calling 50 times a minute, you know, all those type of things, all these weird questions and all of that. It speaks to desperation. It speaks to kind of crazy and men, you know, run away from that, especially if you're very aggressive in your tone, the way you talk, the way you move, you know, men are kind of, you know, we kind of look at that because you got to remember we are men, right? So every single day we go into the world, we have to spot aggression. We have to say that's a threat. That's not a threat. That's our job for ourselves and to protect the, the people that we care about. So we're always on threat assessment, so to speak. We're, we always have that 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 scan that's going around. Who's a threat? Who's not a threat? Right. Who's and, and the threats come usually come from masculine sources. The last thing we want is a masculine woman. That's why we don't like that. We, we It just 
you don't we don't need that from a woman so just be subtle be soft and like i said just a simple little hint without demanding like i'm interested in you why didn't you call me back i'm interested in you if you don't come see me today then you must not be interested See, all those type of things, men don't want to deal with that. But I can tell just from this video right here, I mean, she's attractive and all that, but she's she's kind of aggressive and she has some masculine traits. All these, all this movement and stuff like that, you know. See, it's a lot of things you women don't understand about men and what we see. The reason why I'm mentioning her body movements and all of that is because that's part of that threat assessment. When we're out there in the world, we look at motion and we look at what's going on and we look at aggression. So that right there is probably a turnoff to a lot of men. It's not soft. It's not, not feminine. It doesn't matter how attractive she is. A lot of times men just don't want to deal with that. But again, you guys let me know um, what you think about this video. Leave a comment, like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm definitely trying to get up to 2000 subscribers by the end of the year. If you're on TikTok, make sure to give me a follow over there and show me some love. I'd appreciate it. And as always, have a great day. Peace. May the force be with you.